Disclaimer, this video is for educational purposes only. The techniques explored here are part of an experiment to understand online privacy. Use this knowledge responsibly and always abide by the laws of your country. Unauthorized actions in cyberspace can have serious legal repercussions. Proceed with caution, stay ethical, and respect the boundaries of the digital world. In this video, I'm going to show you how to be a ghost online. We're going to be using the Who Am I tool with Kali Linux. I'm going to show you how to install it and tell you some of the things that it has to offer. For example, it has anti-man in the middle, has a log killer, IP changer, a DNS changer, Mac spoofer, anti-cold boot. Uh, it could change your time zone, it could change your host name, and it has a browser autonomization. And this is all for free. And it's very accessible. So we already had tons of videos on my channel on how to install Kali Linux. So this is going to be kind of like the next step of how to install this. And I made it super easy where I already wrote down all the commands. I'm going to put it in the description. So you can literally follow along and cut and paste the command into the terminal. And you'll be on your way. First things first, make sure your Kali Linux is up to date. And after you do that, you need to install and get the tool from github and i already have the command already set up for you but i'm going to put a link in the description for that tool as well just to make sure i give credit to the person that made it and my stuff's a little bit out of order but for you guys everything's going to be nice and in order for you so just go through the commands one by one and cut and paste them into the command line so i'm going to show you that process right now so you're going to see me type get clone and then the link uh for you guys it's already cut ready to cut and paste so don't mind that let it install the next step is to ls to make sure that everything you did installed correctly. Now you got to get into the who am I project folder. So you just follow the command in your list or just copy it from the screen. Um, CD into it. And then you're going to look for the make file. Next step is to install it. So you got to write the command on your screen or just cut and paste it from the list I have there. And it's sudo make install and put in your password. And then when you're done, it should look something like that. All right, and that's the hardest part. You just did the installation. So now, how to use it? Type in the command on your screen or cut and paste, and this will show you all the options you have. Um, so you want to look at the status first, just to show the things that it has available. So cut and paste that status command or write it in, and you'll see that all the tools that it has to offer. So to turn this stuff on, we have to do the same thing and just write start instead. You can cut and paste it or just follow the screen here. Once you do that, hit enter. And to activate these tools, you have to click the corresponding number and hit the enter key. So for example, one, and then you have to hit the enter key, and then you'll see that there a check mark right next to the tool. And just continue this all the way down until you enable everything. Hit enter one more time, and then you'll see, and once you do the status command again, that everything is enabled. This command right here gets you into the system log files to make sure that your log killer is working. Go ahead and do that and put in your password. And if it's blank, that means it's working. So this is my IP address. I did an IP lookup before I did this test. Sometimes you need to reboot your machine for it to actually work. Um, I had to do it a couple of times and then the third time I was able to get the IP to change. So after like the second reboot, you can see right here that it's saying that my IP is somewhere completely where I'm not. So now type in IP space a to get your mac address info so again we're spoofing our mac address with this uh tool so you can do a mac address lookup go ahead and cut and paste it you'll notice no info will come back or it will come up with something completely different so to stop it you need to put in the command shown on the screen here once you put that command in you hit enter and you'll notice that everything will say disabled just double check the status to make sure everything is disabled and your computer is back to normal and that's it for this video. Thank you very much for watching. And remember, safety is an illusion. And I'll see you guys in the next video.